going live. Hello, hello, everybody. Let me just find my camera stand over here. I got my mask right here. Just polished it so it's really nice and shiny today. We are in a lovely sunny Sunday day here in the sunny state of California. Ah, sometimes a little too sunny. Let me find my... Ah, oh, crap. I think I left... Yeah, I think I left my camera stand at the house. No worries, that's what pop sockets are for. I'm just gonna plop this right here. Right here. There we go. Alright, and say the usual hellos. Hello, everybody. Ten viewers who are watching for giving us a like. Hi, Brony Medieval. Hi, um, hi, Brony Medieval. Hi, Small Fairy. Hello, Mr. Mindblocks and Daniel Attrell, California Love. Definitely. GW says hello. Beach Boy Fan Forever is saying hey. Thank you, everybody, for joining me at the live stream. It's a little late, I understand, like 30, 45 minutes late than the usual 12. Um, sup, y'all, from GW. If you guys like my, like my tank, really trying to substitute something for the heat because it's freaking hot. But it's not as hot as it was earlier. Earlier this week, it was miserably hot. It was very bad. And I have an apple. You are the apple to my eye. Is season nine out yet? No. Netflix is really slow at getting their My Little Pony. Woo! Sorry about that. I have no idea what happened. I'm back. I'm back. Small Cherry loves Small Fairy. <laughs> Small Fairy loves my channel. Thank you so much. God, right in NorCal, it's been 90 plus degrees. Holy neck. That is a lot. Yeah. And the one downside is that the mask I made, the really cool one with the mirrors, Sadly, it's not that breathable, so it doesn't do too much for the heat. Uh, go on a website called Daily Motion. It has all the episodes. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's perfect for the GW who can't find it on Netflix and such. Lemons Mix says, OMG, OMG, OMG. I love your channel and your videos. I have never seen you live. Oh, well, now you have. You're about to watch Pony.com and we're counting down our picks for the top 10 videos in WatchPony.com. <laughs> All right. You made a video yesterday. Yes, I did. How'd you guys like the radio? <laughs> it's a crazy new idea, a crazy new concept I'm trying to work on. Trying to do one of those 24 hour lo fi radio stations, but make it My Little Pony themed. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Right now it's 12 viewers. I'm currently working on an MLP next gen. Oh, nice, very nice, Beach Boy fan forever. Keep the fandom alive. Keep these projects going. You know, we're all depending on you. Ain't that right, Rainbow Dash? Yeah, that is right. So, as the title says, we are getting some Del Taco today because they have a new fruity drink going on. It's like a it's like a Sprite with uh, Poppin' Boba in it. So this is going to be quite interesting. Why Pony Life? This, this is not Pony Life. This is an adorable chibi pony. And it's what Pony Life should have been. That's what Pony Life should have been. That's what I think. Glendale, um, oh sorry, Glenn Perlata says Persona 5. And Small Fairy says My Little Pony is my favorite cartoon. I agree 100%. When G5 comes out, will you still do Watch Pony? Yes, most likely yes. As long as G5 is good. If anyone doesn't know, I have a bunch of collectors MLP. Oh, nice. Beach Boy fan forever. Want to hear the ships I have for the next gen? Oh, the next gen. So I'm guessing the offspring of the main six. Sure, go for it. There's nothing else to do. I'm going to humbly go through the drive through Lita says hi. Hello, Lita. And let me just pop that right there. Focus. Focus on me. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Superhero Gamer says hi. Superhero Gamer, I love that you're wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask, too. We gotta stay safe in these conditions. Are you in your car? Yes, I am. And we're gonna go 
through the drive-thru. We're gonna order some Del Taco. Today's gonna be a good day. I can't agree more, Alita. Let's do this. Del Taco, Del Taco. What should I get from Del Taco? I should get a taco. Or maybe not just a taco. I know I'm gonna get that poppin' boba. It's like Del Taco. Del Taco, Del Taco. Everybody loves Del Taco. Except those who love Taco Bell instead of Del Taco. Alright, here we go. Let's see. We got fresh guacamole. That looks nice. Ooh. You know, I think I know what I'm gonna get. Thank you for choosing my Del Taco. My name is Alberto. Hey, can I get that new uh, Cholula uh, Epic uh, Crispy Chicken Burrito? Uh, we don't have Cholula no more. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't have the, any of the Cholula stuff? Yeah, we, we no longer carry the Cholula stuff. Oh, okay then. Uh, then in that... Or we're out of it, I believe. Oh, okay. All right, well, in that case, can I get just the, um, the epic crispy chicken and guac? Okay. Yep, just the burrito. Okay. And one, uh, cherry burst, uh, Sprite popper. Regular or large one? Uh, let's get regular. Okay. And, uh, cup for water with that. Okay. And that's it. Alright, that's gonna be 678 for you today. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Alright. This should be 5 p.m. Alright. Oh, snap! Somebody donated. Oh, I missed it. I just realized that was the face reveal. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I gotta pull my debit card from here. Debit card, I'm not gonna show you my, my card number. I don't want my identity stolen. Okay, let's see, let's see what happened here. What did I miss? Let me catch up on the comments. Are you in your car? Yesterday's a good day. To the, uh, oh man, those are all the ships. Uh, Superhero Gamer, yes, I'm glad you like it. Get the Supreme Taco, lovely song. Lauren Tonkin gave me five euros. Oh wow, everybody give Lauren Tonkin a big woot woot in the chat for being such a boss and supporting the channel and possibly paying for my meal just now. I like Taco Cabana. There's like 12 people here. There should be 5 million. <laughs> nice. I couldn't agree with you more, small guy. Wait, I just revealed this is a face reveal video. Yes, it is. You can see my face, sort of, in this mask. Hello, Watch Pony. Hello, Swivel Star Strong. I listed them all up above. Woot woot. Yes, nice mask. Thank you. Play Persona 4 on PC. Uh, hello, Woot Woot, and sorry I'm late. Alright, I sound like the pyro. Yeah, with this mask on, I definitely do. Alright, let me pull up. Hey, what's up? Here you go. Thank you. Ooh, look at that. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, no thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. I came from London. And yeah, I come from a land down under, and they say you better run, you better take cover. And I'm gonna run up here and take cover under the shade of this tree. Yeah, I come from a land down under, and I raise big thoughts and big thunder. All right, Ugh. here we go. Sorry, oh my gosh, I haven't shaved in so long. Uh, this quarantine beard, 
I swear. I think I can take the mask off now. Yes, I can. And that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna provide a little extra shade so my car stays as cool as possible. Have you heard of F-U-F? I have no idea. Is that, um, is that kind of like team for TF2? You're all fluffy wuffy. <laughs> Lita, I never heard anyone call it fluffy. The scruff here. F-U-F? No, I don't know what F-U-F is. Is it fuff? Or is it fluff? Or is it a typo for fluff? I don't know. I'm confused. But I'm also hungry. So, I'm gonna dive into this epic burrito. Look at this thing. It's the size of my face. It is huge. Swivel star strong. I should be sleeping right now, but heck, you're watching me eat a burrito instead of sleeping. Life choices. Holy crap. Look at the size of this. Well, if you shave, you'll be silky smooth. Oh, F-U-F is from TrotCon. Oh, I haven't been to TrotCon. It was during the week of my birthday and I was too busy with my birthday celebrations. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, wow. Blizzard, the ice wing. Is that you, Watch Pony? Mm. Yes, it is. You're about to watchbunny.com and we're counting down our picks for the top 10 videos in My Little Pony. Mm. If you hung onto a basketball hoop ring and spun around with your mask on, you get watched for a pony, but not for a, for a disco ball. Ha! That's hilarious. Josh Brony, I wish you a happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Happy early birthday. No, my, my birthday passed. Thank you, Lita. And thank you, Josh Brony. Now, I promised somebody that I was going to see their future ships. So let's take a look at those. It's way up there. So if you're in the comment section, I'm probably going to miss it for a little while. Let's see. Where are you? Mm, here it is. Twilight Sunburst. Okay. Rainbow Dash Flash Magnus. Oh, interesting. Applejack Autumn Blaze. Ooh, very interesting. Sweetie Belle and Spike. Oh, okay. I like that one. Scootaloo and Gabby. Really? That one's interesting. Okay. Diamond Tiara Cozy Glow. You got that one from Sawtooth Waves. Mmm, Sawtooth Waves. That is, um, Brony Notion, right? You didn't need to change his names to something like that? Boy, shave that <laughs> off your face. <laughs> yeah, I need to shave. I definitely need to shave. Let's see, uh, go back to back, back up there, back up there. It's my birthday today. Oh, Laura, Lauren Tonkin? It's your birthday? Well, everybody give a big happy birthday to Lauren then. Taco Bell or Del Taco? That's a good question because I love them both so much. Mmm. 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 This has guacamole in it. This guacamole is really good. Mmm. And the chicken is so crispy. Oh, wow. I don't know. They're both really good. I mean, Doritos, Loco Tacos from Taco Bell are so good. Not to mention their freezers. Mmm. It's also good. Mmm. I only have two of the six designs done. Oh boy, I could see the sunrise. <laughs> Happy birthday. Do you think the ponies know Spanish? I don't know. I mean, they can know French. Maybe they can know Spanish too. Uh, yay, okay. Sus is a deadly laser. Okay, so anyways. The only one that I feel is a little strange from that line of chips is Rainbow Dash and Flash Magnus. Both of those sound right, and they both seem correct. They both totally, you know, the type to do that. And they totally hit it off when they were working together. But it's kind of like weird because Flash Magnus is way older than Rainbow Dash technically on a technical sport. Now, that's not really so much a, an issue, you know, because I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of fans would love to ship themselves with Sonambula, with Sonambula or Mage Meadowbrook, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of love for Sonambula, just letting you guys know. But yeah, so why not have that same love for Flash Magnus? 
Well, the only thing I have with Flash and Magnus and Rainbow Dash is not just the, you know, age gap, because technically they're kind of the same age, but in other technically, he was born way before Rainbow Dash was born. The other bigger issue for me is that Flash Magnus has been Rainbow Dash's idol, literally the legend that they had. And if Rainbow Dash meets and then therefore like falls in love and tries to gain a relationship with this legend, this idol, this person that she has been, um, you know, um, raving about for years, it's kind of like falling in love with Santa Claus, you know? It's some person you didn't even think would exist at first. So that's where it gets a little weird, you know? Black Madness is about the same age as Dashy. Yeah, yeah, no, that is very true. And yes, it is very true that they are kind of the same age. The only issue is that, yeah, it's kind of like falling in love with your idol. It's, you know, like if KP decided to marry um, Discord, you know, it's it's like a fun concept for meets. It's like a fun concept for like, you know, or, or even Twilight and Star Swirl the Bearded. That's another example. Just pretend Star Swirl is the same age as Twilight. Would that still be the same though? Because Twilight went as far as to cosplay as Star Swirl in Nightmare Nights in a previous episode. You know, I think it would be weird, you know? There's a whole reason celebrity crushes are called celebrity crushes. You don't necessarily want their lives to be that way forever and ever. But you know, that's just my take from it. All the other couples do make very good sense. Starlight and, uh, sorry, Sunburst and Twilight, that seems like a good fit. Um, Autumn Blaze with Applejack, that also seems like a good fit. And I have not seen the video about Cozy Glow and Diamond Tiara, but I could definitely see how that could work in terms of reforming Cozy Glow. <laughs> Isn't Flurry still a baby at the end? Flurry is still a baby at the end. And you know what else? Oh. I think. We should try this new drink. Mm. So for this drink, the new one, the Sprite Poppers, they come with this really big boba straw already, which I find interesting because they got all this popping boba down here. So let's take this. I'm guessing it's just Sprite and literally there's cherry and mango, so I just got the cherry one. Let's pop those in there. Let's try this out. Mmm. You know, it's not that bad. It's quite refreshing, too. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Mr. Mindblocks asks, Do you also think Gabby is the female version of Black Griffin? as it shows in Kim Possible's review of Fault in Our Cutie Marks. Design-wise, yes, they have a similarity, but character-wise, no. Don't get me wrong, Black Griffin is an awesome dude, but Gabby doesn't sing as good as Black Griffin. <laughs> now, here's a good question. Comment section. Let's, let's put it on a friendly debate. Should Spike be shipped with Sweetie Belle, or should Spike be shipped with Ember? Now, I like both. Both of them are pretty nice. Um, I still, however, wish Spike could be the winner of the underdog battle and could, in the end, be with Rarity, even though that's kind of impossible. A lot of people like to ship Rarity with Fancy Pants or with Trender Hoof or with... Um, hmm. Applejack. <laughs> yeah, when it's against Applejack, yeah, sorry, Spike's getting the boot. But if I had to choose one for Spike, I would still wish it could go with Rarity. Just because, you know, he's been wanting that his whole life. And I feel like it would be fair. It would be, you know, a fun thing for, for him to, you know, finally achieve. Finally achieve that goal, just like the Cutie Mark Crusaders did. Getting their Cutie Marks, finally, you know? Mm. Mm. 
but can use summon. All right, we got one vote for Sweetie Belle. No one, he's underage. Another one for Sweetie Belle. Spike Forever Alone. <laughs> Philip jo Jaquaski. You're pretty harsh, but hey, that was hilarious. Thank you so much. Watch Bunny, what's your favorite Black Griffin song? Going through tonight. You'll see the stars align. Spike like very is actually kind of like Fluttershy in rarity, but Fluttercord is best. The I'm sorry, shipper fans, but I'm not really a shipper. <laughs> My cousin ships Rarity and Derpy. Oh, that one's interesting. Well, I got to sleep now. Uh, see you, Watch Bunny. All right, Swivel, Star Strong. Have a good night. Have a nice sleep. I have to go, IRL. Bye, GW. Uh, have a good time. Have a nice sleep. <laughs> Coconut Pony finally said his usual yo. I think some furries secretly love MLP. It's more like some bro. It's like some people who love our... MLP are secretly furries. It's the other way around, I think. <laughs> I like how you pronounce my name. Everybody does it differently. <laughs> oh, thank you. Jaquaski. <laughs> In case you can't tell, I suck at pronouncing names sometimes. Hacker Russo says good taste. Mr. Mindblocks um, is asking my favorite Last Chance song and the Crusader song he did. Ooh, yeah, that one's good. Rainbow Dash says, Hola amigo, como estas? Uh, I'm good. Josh Brony, sleep well, and see you later, bye. All right, Watch Bunny, you look good with red hair. Huh, interesting. I never thought of giving myself red hair before. Back when I was dating Sam, she had red hair, and she looked really good with red hair. I don't know if I could pull it off, though, but even so, to get it dyed, this hair is black as is black as coal so if I wanted to get red hair I would have to bleach this entire rag then paint it all red and then I would have to say goodbye to all of my white towels every time I shower and then when it goes away it'll be yellow so I'll be a blonde guy I'm gonna be a blonde Californian going hang loose bro I'm gonna eat my Del Taco over here um. Mm. What's this? I actually need name suggestions for my ponies. I'm com I'm terrible with coming up with names. Try to say my name. It's Farah. Okay, small fairy. I'll try to pronounce your name. Farah. Or Farah. One of the two. Have you ever been to a different pony convention besides Babscon and Bronicon? Watch pony. Yes, sure, Sprony. I have been to Babscon and Bronicon, but I've also been to High Roller Ponycon, Everfree Northwest Con, Trot Con, and the Anime Expo Con. <laughs> I don't know why I said that all in an English accent. You should take us to the beach. I will. When coronavirus dies and the beaches open up again, ah, I'm dying. This is so hot and there's no place to go. And besides, there, the, the, the reason there's, I know there are some beaches that are open, but they're overrun by people who don't care about the virus and aren't wearing masks. And I don't want to risk getting sick because of them. They can get sick, but not me. I want to wait till this virus is gone before I do anything fun. And that includes going to Disneyland, Six Flags, and Universal Studios, which I have passes for, not Disneyland, but I have passes to theme parks, and I wish I can go, but I can't, because it's, uh, for Halloween, you could dye your hair red like Markiplier. Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, what is this? Lauren Tonkins, Twilight and Fizzle Pop Berry Twist, aka Tempest. All right, well, everybody give Lauren another big woot woot in the chat for donating two more euros, bringing my total up to $8, eight, practically $9, because euros are worth more than American dollars, for the ship of Twilight and Fizzle Pop Berry Twist, aka Tempest. Yeah, Twilight and Tempest, that one I hear is a really popular ship, not just because their color comb, but their color coordination is really good, but also because, you know, Twilight is just the best at reforming, and let's face it, Every pony that Twilight reforms ends up getting shipped with. 
She is shipped with Trixie a bunch because she reformed Trixie. She is reformed with Sunset a lot because she reformed Sunset. She is reformed with su with uh with uh with Starlight Glimmer a lot because she reformed Starlight. Oh my gosh, Twilight, you are literally signing yourself up for shipping um, scenarios. I've been to zero MLP cons. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Mindblocks. Bronies of South Africa is the only pony herd of the entire African continent. Oh, wow, that's cool. What year did you go to TrotCon? Uh, I forgot the year it was, but it was when it was themed to Fallout. Uh, it's f -era. Oh, Feyra. Feyra, okay. Well, Darwin, natural selection. The heat kills us, woot woot. All right, woot woot, yes, yes, yes. All right, sorry for all the caps. I am broke, my doctor is crazy. I put deja vu and started doing drift. Hackerusa, are you driving right now? You shouldn't be texting in a chat if you're driving. Drifting deja vu. Me pinte el pelo azul claro creyendo que era azul oscuro. Oh, Rainbow Dash apparently um, colored their hair light blue thinking it was dark blue. Pinky loves M&M's. Ooh, I bet Pinky loves M&M's. Uh, Mr. Moblox, I've heard about this sad story about how, whoa, 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 about how a fan took Lightning Bliss and Flash ship too seriously and hurt her feelings at BronyCon, and Silver Quill decided to drop the joke. Okay, yeah, that is true. You know, shipping is fun and all, but you can't take it too far when you're shipping actual people. People's OCs like Lightning Bliss, or I love Kim Possible a lot, or Silver Quill. When you ship um, people with each other or people with fictional characters, that's where it gets weird and some people take it too far. It could be fun for a joke, but if you do it over and over, it's eventually gonna annoy them and it's gonna make them feel very uncomfortable. You know, I could, you know, you could ship me with my waifu for a joke and it'll be okay, but if you keep at it or you make it worse, or you basically like, it comes to a point of where you feel like you're being made fun of. And that's why, you know, it's not really ever okay to ship actual people or characters based off actual people, OCs, um, and ship them, you know, willy nilly with everybody, you know, without their permission, you know? So I could totally agree with that. The red M&M man is so scary. <laughs> I'm too young to drive, mate. All right, let's see. Starlight Glimmer has seen most episodes. I bet she does. No, but you should. <laughs> I should drift. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Um, I was like, I'll give that fan what for. <laughs> Starlight and Chrysalis. Ooh, that's an interesting ship. I have no idea what that is. Uh, start driving. Let's go somewhere. I can't drive. I'm freaking reading your guys' comments. Uh, only ship... Uh, show characters with show characters. Yes, that's a good rule of thumb to have. Hmm. Hmm. Not gonna lie, this burrito is really good. I sure this thing more often. It's only five dollars. It's the size of a freaking Chipotle burrito. If I saw like a burrito, could you recommend that make her head, man? Is it weird that I ship Silver Quill with Mary Sue? Only if it's harmless, because Mary Sue, thankfully, is not a real is not a real person. It's a fictional character made by Mad Munchkin, so I think you have a, a pretty good leeway with there. Just like I said before, don't take it too far, or don't uh, b repeatedly uh, bash it over and over and over. You know because. Not only will the joke get old, but it will eventually lead to being uncomfortable. And you know, because remember, Silver Quill is a real person. Always think, what I'm doing, would it be okay if that happened to me? And me personally, I wouldn't be too comfortable being shipped with Mary Sue over and over and over again. But yeah, it's it's not weird, and and it you know, as long as you don't overdo it, it's just harmless fun. Just don't overdo it. Don't take it too far. Dashy is 20% emo. My shipman me. I'm not sad that did that. The TV. Oh, the TV Regis Filmin. TV star Regis Filmin. I'll be honest, I have not seen too much Regis Filmin, so I don't know how much to feel in terms of that. But hey, a death is a death. So, you know, hopefully you left a good legacy, Regis Filmin. And I hope you carry on to a, a greater future. Let's see. OMG, you still have the sun? It's 10 p.m. for me. Wow, more Medu. Where where are you 
at. What part of the world do you live in? Because, yeah, it's freaking hot. It's not only sunny, but it is hot. I ship everyone with everyone. How about that? Well, Philip, I have to say, you are a mad lad. Mad lad. Rainbow Dash and Captain Prince? Who is Captain Prince? Hmm. Ooh, Dr. Scripter has returned. I feel like shipping Gabby and Black Griffin, but I'm not going to sh shipping nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, you should definitely save that nonsense. Besides, I hear Black Griffin got a girlfriend anyways. Uh, Indiana Jones, visit me today, Watch Bunny. You gave me a box of chocolates. What? Indiana Jones? That's so cool. Ice Gaze, why is he so mad at me? Um, and that's why I stick with ships like Sunset Shimmer and Twilight Sparkle, along with Lincoln Loud and Ronnie Ann from Santiago. <laughs> uh, Daniel Samuels, those are pretty solid. I, those are pretty solid ships. Why does this remind me of Fame and Misfortune episode? Oh yeah, because a similar formula happened. Yep, pretty much. We are fans, and sometimes fans suck. <laughs> but we love to. We love to do the things we do. And that's why I love this fandom, you know? A lot of people say the fandom is dying, but it's this nonsense that we do afterwards that keeps us alive. Mm. Mm. The way this boba just pops in your mouth is so good. You bite down on it, and it just like fruit gushers. It's so good. Mm. Big app. Hmm. It sounds like. Ooh. They're kind of like fish eggs. Kind of like that red caviar. But you pop them. And then you get like this. This little skin. That's also edible and it's also really good. Do you like driving? Yes, I do. I've been scrolling through Next Generation Bios on Deviant. Our last couple come up with some fantastic stories. Do you watch Jay Spanish shows? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, I haven't seen that show. I ship Rainbow Dash and Derpy. Oh, that's interesting. Well, the reason I don't ship Pinky is because she has a canon relationship with uh, Cheese Sandwich. Yes, that one is true. Who's his girlfriend? I can't believe the actor. Oh, I know I can't believe it be the actor for Sweetie Belle. That's what I've heard, but I think it's still under rumors so I don't know exactly what's happening uh, and who is Captain Price I don't know Glenn Peralta tell me who is Captain Prince uh, it's got to be Michelle Creeper no 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 Michelle Creeper is way too young for him mm. besides I get a much more of a brother sister vibe from them than a couple vibe from them but that's just me that's just my me and my vibes that's it <laughs> watch bunny is it important to hug the main six yes it is do that every day i wonder if any latin americans or puerto ricans or bronies i'm pretty sure i mean i've seen a few uh latino bronies uh why would they say ponies are fake just get best friends vibe yeah best friend vibe see that one too they're their best friends, buddy, buddy, brother, sister. I don't really see them dating, to be honest. My Rambodash and Derpy plushies are kissing each other. <laughs> ah. You want to hear a theory about Flash being from MLP being a traitor? Flash Sentry? A traitor? Oh, damn. Now that's a theory. Sure, tell me that. Fire truck. It's because I'm so hot. <laughs> you like my joke? I got another joke for you. They, these are all hot jokes, okay? They're all jokes about how hot I am. <laughs> <laughs> so the other day, I was walking down the street, and then I saw this doorway, and there was the most beautiful man I've ever seen. Now, I, I'm not gay, but I can definitely see a good-looking guy when I see one, you know? So I looked closer, and the dude was looking right at me. And then he said to me, holy crap, that is a handsome guy. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> but then afterwards, I realized, oh, wait, that's just a mirror. Get it? It's a joke. <laughs> Not really. It's just a stupid story. I, I, I tried to do a joke, but it, it failed. True. 
tremendously. Mm. This burrito is so good. I don't really see the brownie phantom dying because I see plenty of brownies being really used to and doing their best. <laughs> yeah. In all honesty, people said the brownie phantom was dying for the past three years. So I don't really see, so like in terms of people saying the phantom is dying, I am already used to it. <laughs> so there's really no, no drama, no rush, no rush to death. Mr. Mindblocks, I wish the fans at the end of the Fame and Misfortune episode would listen instead of carrying on causing confusion and delay besides the, besides the kids that understand. Mm. Why do people hate Mondays? Oh, and by the way, ah, <coughs> uh, whew, sorry. And by the way, yes, I totally agree with that fan statement. That would have been a much better ending, but sadly, that's not realistic. Let's face it, some bronies can listen and understand. But there are some bronies that just won't. Some bronies that are going to be like, My ship is OTP. The one true bearing. My theory is OTP. The one true pairing. <laughs> okay. Captain John Prince, Calcine Bravo 6, is a British Special Forces sniper and the main protagonist of Modern Warfare franchise. So, Glenn, you're, you're, you're shipping Rainbow Dash with the main character from Call of Duty? Modern Warfare franchise? That is quite the crossover. That is one hell of a crossover. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> go for it, man. That sounds pretty awesome, too. Not gonna lie. That is one hell of a crossover, but that is pretty, pretty funny. All right, Dr. Scripter. Okay, so Flash only appears in the Magic Mirror once it was moved to the Crystal Empire. Then it wasn't a Crystal Pony. Also, isn't it odd that the same time the mirror is moved to the Crystal Empire, Sunset is, what, gone? So, you think it's weird that Flash Sentry is the only pony in the Crystal Empire that's not a Crystal Pony, but Everywhere the mirror goes, Flash Sentry is also always there. Well, the mirror is held in Celestia's castle, I believe, after they discovered it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It was in the Crystal Empire. The mirror was first discovered in the Crystal Empire, and that's where Flash Sentry was. Do you think Flash Sentry may just be one pony? And he was both the main guy in the in the movie as well as the pony universe? That could be interesting. Because yeah, as you continue, she shows up at the same time as the mirror as Flash. Huh, then if that's the case, then what is his plan? Because ever since Flash Sentry looked at Twilight in that one episode where he dropped off Cadence at the train station he hasn't come back to that show ever since but he has been back in the equestria girl world so what if he was like oh this pony twilight isn't gonna want to come back to me so might as well stay in the equestria girls and try and get back with sunset maybe i wouldn't be surprised if that was true that's right daniel samuels and mrs bankrupt pony saw a flying car today oh wow are you sad that Godzilla vs. King Kong got pushed to May 2021? Ugh, there's so many movies that got pushed to 2021. I'm pretty much used to it. 2020 has been a disappointment, and I expect nothing more than more disappointment from this year. I'm just waiting for more disappointment at this point, because so far this has been halfway through the year, and it sucked big time. Watch Pony hasn't made a new top 10 in so long. 
and it's hard for me to do top tens under these conditions. I have to take breaks for my mental health, but I'm also too busy driving around trying to earn money because my old job is gone because of the virus. <sighs> this is why I drown out my sorrows in food. Mm. Oh, wait, never mind. Beach Boy Fan Forever is explaining that Brony Notion made a video saying Flash Sentry helped Sunset Hatcher plan to steal Twilight's crown. Well, that's interesting. Happy Frog is here. Hello, Happy Frog. I don't think so. It's just two flashes. Two flashes, but I'm still waiting for that other sunset. Like, seriously, there are two Twilights. But where are the two sunsets? Where's the other sunset? Is there a new sunset in Ponyville now? Is there, a, can, can we get that please? I want a pony version of sunset to stay. Because if not that, I want there to be two sunsets in the Equestria Girl world, you know? I want more sunset. <laughs> OMG, you just expanded the theory. Huh, I guess I did, interesting. Wonder what Pinkie Pie's wedding ring looks like. Yeah, probably like a donut. <laughs> the only thing about this year um, near the end is that season nine will most likely be on Netflix. Eh, don't don't count your chickens. That could be the next thing to happen wrong in 2020. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mindblocks asks, have you heard of the sparkle, sparkle, sparkle joke? No, I have not. Is it, why do all the vampires in Twilight Sparkle sparkle? Is it, is it that one? It's okay, you'll get back to the top tens eventually. Yeah, I hope so. I got ideas, but it's so hard to get the scripting down. Not to mention the heat is killing me. And I pretty much have no help anymore, so it's basically a one-man production now. So I'm really sorry, everybody, for the lack of top tens. But let's face it, this job is harder than it looks. Pinkie Pie's ring isn't made out of candy. <laughs> I hope not. But that's totally something Pinky would do. Speaking of Sunset Shimmer, I made a fanfic that shows what happens when she was younger. I wish Hasbro would read it and turn it into a movie. Oh, that would be cool. Is it weird that I ship Rainbow Dash with the Scout from TF2? <laughs> Again, Josh. Oh, wait, no, Josh Brony. That was a different one. But I will repeat this. Again, that is quite the crossover. That is one hell of a crossover and quite a stretch. Ooh, it's so hot. So I'm gonna have to, like, I don't know. I think it's hilarious, and I think that's pretty funny. But that's one hell of a crossover, man. <laughs> I explained the theory. Maybe she killed the human sunset so nobody could get in her way. Oh, damn, that is dark. Season nine is on Hulu Plus, oh, cool. It would be weird if you didn't. If you could ask one question to Twilight Sparkle, what would it be? Okay, let's see. If I could ask Twilight Sparkle one question, let's see. It would be... Hmm. I think I would ask... Do, um, who do you see Spike with in the future? Because if anyone has an idea, I think I think Twilight would know best who Spike is destined to be with. You know, I want I. It, it's a question to Twilight, but I think it's a really fun question to ask because it's about Spike, the one person you know she really loves. You know, like a brother and everything. Let's see, la 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 la, Starlight Glimmers and Top 10 Waifus, yeah, Sparkle, 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 Scout is hot, <laughs> name, what the hell, uh, Hasbro gave me a creepy pony for my birthday with no eyes, ooh, I love ponies with no eyes, <laughs> one question, would you ask Twilight Sparkle, think what she thinks about Raven from Teen Titans, I don't think Twilight Sparkle watches Raven in Teen Titans, unless it's the Pony Life Twilight, because in Pony Life they have TV stations. Uh, can you turn me into a pony? That would be my question. Yeah, that's a good question to have. Continue con mi canal Reacciones de mi NLP con los creepypastas y comics. También tengo algo rap. Oh, very cool. 
Have you ever played in the Forza Horizon games? No, I have not. Those are too hard. I've tried turning and I fail miserably. <laughs> Speaking of Twiggy, uh, I want some insight on what name I should use for her and Sunburst Sun. Uh, right now you got Prince Solar Spark or Prince Stardust. Ooh, okay, both of those look nice or sound nice. Solar Spark sounds more sunset or sorry, it's more sunburst. Whereas Prince uh, Stardust is more twilight. But you know what I think? Cosmos. Yeah. Or, um, bright, bright light. Yeah, instead of twilight, bright light. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, one of those two. But if I had to pick out the two that you suggested, I would go for, um, what was it? Sun, sun, the, 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 the sun one. What was it? Uh, missed it. Uh, where'd it go? Solar spark. Yeah, solar spark. I like that. Uh, the sparkle joke came from Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and then a certain movie critic came into the freak and yelled, Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Oh, you, you talk about nostalgia critic? Because I sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. All right. Do you think Twilight is smart enough to create a robot pony? Yes. Yes, I do. I want to see a Doctor Who and MLP crossover. Imagine Twilight, Doctor Who's, and the Doctor uh, thinking it would be odd and it would be really funny. <laughs> That would be really funny. I like that. Mm. Almost as much as I love this burrito. Watch Pony. And no, I don't like, you know, who I know, I knew just from the joke came from him. Ugh. Sorry. I'm starting to get a little hot. Starting to get a little toasty. Let me take off my glasses. So I can look like Markiplier a bit. Wait, hold on. Markiplier has this floof sort of thing. Poof! Alright. I'm gonna do the rest of this stream like Markiplier. Mm. Let me drink some more of these poppin' bobas. These are so nice. It's hard to fish them out, though. It's hard to do this with um, ice blocks in the way. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome back to Comet Simulator on YouTube. We're going to be reading the Comet Simulator Level 3. Which is called Watch Pony. Never heard of Watch Pony, but not that sounds like a pretty cool channel. Anyway, let's get on with this game. Come on, game. Let's see what you got. Ooh, Mr. Mind Blocks. Um, Daniel Samuels. I can only imagine a Teen Titans Go and Equestria Girls crossover. Oh, a Teen Titans Go. That's quite a good show. I very much love that. My doctor turned me into a black cat yesterday. Mrs. Bankrupt Pony, what the hell? What happened there turned to a black cat? My God. Dr. Scripter, crush, kill, destroy, swag. Huh, I remember that being a meme not too long ago. Crush, kill, destroy, swag. Crush, kill, destroy, swag. Oh! All right. I'll ship it. Let's see. What do I do in this game? Carol the Arty Cat. Hi, WP. Hello, everybody. Markiplier's Try Not to Laugh videos. Yes, those are really funny. Start the chant. Crush, kill, destroy, swag. Nunca uso mu. Uh, try Not to Laugh Challenge. Check out Equestria Girls Epic Fails video. Is that the one where they saw Countess Cola Rachura falling on her face? Actually, not falling on her face. She literally falls on her neck. Like, <laughs> it looks so painful. All right, I'm dropping the Markiplier voice. I can keep it up forever, but it's probably not too exciting. That and uh, with this heat, I may make Markiplier seem a lot more drunk than usual. And this is not the way I want Markiplier to be represented now. Okay, that's enough. 
What do you guys think? I think that was pretty good. It's been a while since I saw Markiplier. What kind of drugs are you on? Nothing. I'm on Markiplier. That, that's what the drug it was. I am reading Project Horizons for the second time. <laughs> nice. I cannot read those stories. They are way too long. Uh, get the kick squad. What makes what makes people go to prison? Crime. Crime is what gets people to prison. And money. Marky Poo, why are you drinking the vodka? <laughs> Watch Pony in year 3034. Humans will turn into beautiful flowers. Oh, hey, that's good. Flutterbat is the carrier of the coronavirus. Glenn, too soon, man. It is too soon to make bat jokes. When this coronavirus first came out, people were actively hunting bats in the wild because they thought that would, for some reason, help things out. Ah. And it sucks because, yeah, a lot of innocent bats ended up getting killed. Uh, but no, don't worry, Glenn. I'm not actually mad. It's just, you know, it's not the best time to do that joke. Granted, it is a funny joke, but not right now. It's a little too soon. But not in all seriousness, that bat hunting incident, that sucks. Like, ow. I drank all the Sprite, but there's still a bunch of popping boba. I want to eat them, but now I have to fish them through the cubes. Mm. Ah, let's see. Josh Brony asks, can you do an impression of Dr. Wolf? Mm -mm. So, Mr. Burrito, tell me what's on your mind. Well, Doc. I've been feeling like I'm covered in guacamole, a uh, hearty chicken, and a nice heaping help of lettuce that can really satisfy an appetite. Oh, is that so? Well, tell me more about that. Um, okay. But wait, hold that thought. Oh. Mmm. It's good to be helping. <laughs> I just killed a burrito, and that's good to be helping. OMG, why did you kill him? I didn't kill him, Dr. Wolf did. <laughs> He's a wolf after all. He's carnivorous. And by the way, and um, I don't know, like if you remove the chicken, that thing is totally, you know, good for ponies. It has guac and lettuce and all sorts of good stuff. And yet there's a theory about the main six having mental health issues like Winnie the Pooh and his friends. Personally, I like more the main six traded with the seven deadly sins. Including Spike. Spike is obviously greed. Because when he gets big and he steals all the stuff, he gets bigger as a dragon and hoards the whole thing. Spike is definitely greed. Fluttershy, believe it or not, is rage, anger, because when Fluttershy gets angry, whoo, she gets very angry. Rainbow Dash is sloth, always snapping, slacking off, doing everything without giving as much as the effort unless it's for something that is for her benefits. That's what sloth is. If you reach out to Nintendo, ask them to do a My Little Pony parody of Wii Music. <laughs> <laughs> that could that, that'd be funny. Do you think Applejack had the least amount of character development? No, you're kidding me. Applejack had so much character development. I had no idea that her parents were from a freaking Romeo and Juliet. I had no idea that back then Applejack was a liar, liar pants on fire that put Big Mac in the freaking hospital bed. And back then, I also had no idea that Applejack was also just as excited as Apple Bloom was in hunting for the the uh, the great seedling. Yeah, that's what it was called, the great seedling. Yeah, no, Applejack has so many layers and so many awesome episodes. I have to say, that is totally not accurate at all. Sorry, I usually don't like disagreeing with people, but that was actually a pretty inaccurate statement there. Uh, by the way, 
guys. Ice is edible. Yeah, I want to eat the ice, but I don't want to eat the the freaking blocks uh, or the 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 popping boba while I'm there. What sin is derpy hooves? Uh, no, it's only from the main six. So we already got twi uh, We already got Spike, uh, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash. Those are three of the seven deadly sins. <laughs> the next one is envy, um, gluttony, uh, pride and um lust all right so for those four let's let's continue on let me just mango island says hi uh oh god the episode where the apple lies was pretty bad where the apple lies what it was bad how is it bad that was it was so cool seeing how uh, big macintosh was when he was younger and how he used to be such a talker like holy crap that was so funny not only that but it's also funny seeing Filthy Rich try and be the nice guy, delivering flowers, being all nice to Granny Smith and all things like that. Much better than how he is right now. Nowadays, a father, and he's always like, Diamond Tiara! <laughs> Speaking of which, where is the Apple Bloom Lies? It's where, hey, baby Apple Bloom. Yeah, baby Apple Bloom is nowhere to be seen. That is still crazy. I still have no idea how that happened. Ah, uh, yeah, Anthony. So your thoughts and reacts of how Artie and AJ talk to each other like an old married couple on season 9. That's the way they tell us that they're officially a couple. Yes, that's... And there's actually a little confirmation in the in the My Little Pony mobile game. That also has a little bit of a confirmation. Uh, still stubborn and still also... Uh, she almost lost Fluttershy for... Wait, what? She's still stubborn and also she almost lost Fluttershy from it? Uh, how did she almost lose Fluttershy? Was it because of that Kieran episode where Applejack didn't want to decide on going on the path? Was that it? Because last I checked, they were play fighting at the very end of that. Not only that, but it was also good that Applejack did her own thing and was stubborn for the little while. Because if I remember correctly, Fluttershy and Applejack were teamed up together to help friendship problems in Las Pegasus and they found it with flim flam fighting with each other Applejack was stubborn and didn't want to accept that so she went off to explore more problems and look what happened she found out that the show pony is also um, is also fighting and the two magician ponies are also fighting so then they were like wait a minute this is three problems not just one there's something going on. If Applejack wasn't stubborn and they would have just solved Flim and Flam's problem, then Gladmane probably wouldn't have been caught. And I remember Fluttershy mentioning to Applejack, if it weren't for your stubbornness, we wouldn't have found all these other problems at the very end of the episode. So stubbornness sometimes works. Now let's see. Uh, Applejack is better off with Rarity. <laughs> yeah, that, that's cool. Sorry, just my opinion. Oh, no, it's okay. And it's good to have your opinion. This is just my opinion, too. What I say isn't law. Never take what I say as the definitive answer. Just know that from a watch pony's perspective, this is from what I see. And, you know, I've seen every episode, and I've seen, like, every episode, like, 50,000 times. Whew. So, I don't know. I guess people just really like my opinion. But, hey, like I said, it's just my opinion. It, 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 you shouldn't be taking it seriously either. I mean, we're talking about My Little Pony here. All right, let me just see. No offense, but you have your own opinion. Yeah, see? Dr. Scripter gets it. I don't ship it at all. I'm not happy that show implied that. <laughs> no, wait, you don't ship Fluttershy and uh, Apple Applejack? I'm not saying you should ship them, but I'm just saying stubbornness sometimes helps. Twilight Sparkle, love her ex-boyfriend? What? How do you feel about each of the main six? Oh, I love them all. They're all awesome. They're all awesome characters. During the Bats episode, she got Fluttershy turned into a Flutterbat. Technically, Twilight did that. I mean, granted, it was Applejack's idea to get the whole thing going, but Applejack wasn't planning on getting Fluttershy infected into a fruit bat. But at the same time, there was that heartfelt moment where Applejack was like, I just want my friend back. And boom. That pulled the heart feels. But at the same time, she was willing to get her friend back even if it meant sacrificing her big apple that was going to be for a blue ribbon competition thing. So that also shows something. It shows that, yeah, people make mistakes, but, you know, 
you, as long as you're willing to do what it takes to make up for it and make things right, then, you know, all should be fair and well. You're a little disappointed when you still haven't gotten the chance to hear all of Vinyl Scratch's voice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Vinyl Scratch never got a canon voice. Um, I don't know why the railway tracks that lead to a place um, that has water, it could take you to a voice. Pretty dangerous if you ask me. Uh, did you know your average Joe has made another channel? Oh, no, I didn't. I, I'll, I'll have to check that out. Okay, good point, but I still won't forgive her for almost losing Fluttershy to the bats. She will be probably be very guilty about that. You know, knowing Applejack, I'm pretty sure she's still guilty about that. <laughs> I don't ship Apple Dash. <laughs> Not really. He deleted it. Someone else re... What? Someone else re-uploaded his videos. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Your average Joe deleted his channel? <gasps> is it me or do I hear the Facebook Messenger tone? Yeah. It's Bryce's birthday! Bryce is the guy who makes the Watch Pony website. Go to his Twitter at M at BJ Meyer on Twitter and wish him a happy birthday, everybody. I command you. I also hear it. Thanks a lot. Uh, la 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 la. How do you feel about each of the princesses and which one do you think is the best? Uh, Pinkie Pie and the slot machine. Uh, who's that? Uh, how do you feel about. Uh, G 4.5. Are you excited for Pony Life? Is this the last question of girls? And the MLP movie too. I want to know my favorite movie. I just finished watching Snowpiercer. Bob, Bob, what the heck? Ah, uh, so much stuff going on. Ah, uh, one second. I need to go outside. It's too hot. Uh. Ew. My, my seat is all sweaty. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Go outside of my car and sit on the grass. As long as nobody's around me, I don't think I need to wear a mask. Watch Bunny. What emojis do the main six use? Pinkie Pie definitely uses the smiley with the tongue sticking out face. Rainbow Dash definitely uses the smiley with the shades, with the glasses, sunglasses on them. Applejack definitely uses the thumbs up, even though she doesn't have thumbs. Twilight would definitely use the, um, the laughing face with the uh, closed eyes and the smile. Rarity would definitely use the kissy face with the heart coming out of it little kissy face and Fluttershy would definitely use the the kitty emoji taco sonata's approved yep mm. Twenty-one viewers. I want to say I love you all very much. Kale the Artie Cat asks, "I have never seen Pony Life. Should I?" I think you should. Oh, Watch Pony! Congratulations! You won a free red balloon. Oh, thank you so much. I love red balloons. For the character that you just mentioned that would have this emoji. Oof. Yep, definitely. That one's definitely rarity. Actually, in one of the Equestria Girls shorts, they used emojis to talk through text. Oh yeah, I remember that. In that episode, Fluttershy was all about the animal emojis. She was like, send in a, a squirrel emoji, the cat emoji, um, the bunny emoji. Rarity was like, Talking a whole different language right there. 
Oh, what is my favorite princess? Um, uh, none of them. Uh, all the princesses are kind of the same in my book. I don't really see them too much, and at, by the looks of it, they're doing great in terms of leading their nation, so I'm good. Some bronies missed Starlight Glimmer's Road to Redemption. It's related to Sunset Shimmers. I love seeing those two in the mall. Yeah, when Sunset Shimmer and Starlight Glimmer met together and were hanging out with each other, that was honestly one of the best moments of the whole franchise, just because they both had such similar roads to redemption. They were both bad guys that ended up re realizing what they did wrong. It's really cool, and it's really cool seeing them relate to that. I had to attend a panel at 4.15 a.m. Holy neck, wow. Pony turns herself into a breeze into a breezy. Funniest stuff ever. Huh. Oof. Burp. Josh Brony, sleep deprived, but it was all worth it. Yeah. Huh. Let's see. Oof. If only it were that easy to turn a bad guy around. Is your girlfriend sick? Uh no, Starlight Glimmer Van. <laughs> Pony and Breezy. Someone ships ponies with breezies? <laughs> Exiting now. Until next time, everyone. All right, Daniel Samuels, you have a good day. Latino Ramirez says, mine is Cadence. I'm not sure, whoop. I'm not sure uh, now because I haven't watched the show or associated the Phantom in years. Hey, Cadence is still kicking it, you know? Cadence is still awesome. Banana Island cheated, cheated on Apple Island. What the? What is uh, My Little Pony to you? Oh, that's a good question. Who needs sleep when there are ponies? I miss Devin Dalton's q and I'm going to fix me some food. Okay, Mr. Mindblocks, you do that. While I answer, what is my little pony to me? To me, my little pony is a show. But this show is just really good. So good and in such a perfect formula that welcomes creativity that brings in acceptance and that makes people do amazing things that they never thought they would have ever done. I've seen people make music that are now professional musicians. I've seen people editing videos that are now editing videos for movies and studios. I've seen people make artwork that end up becoming professional artists and I've seen analyzers that ended up finding a career in analyzing media and becoming a professional critic and reviewer. This fandom is a show that has led to so many awesome things. And that's why it's so beautiful hearing about all the success that people have found purely out of following their own passion, which is something I really appreciate. Did you hear about what happened to Mando Pony? Yes, and I refuse to talk about it. If you could bring one thing with you to Ponyville, what would you bring? I would bring... Hmm, I would bring... I would bring my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Introduced the ponies to the world of video games. Uh, he wrote loyalty, but it wasn't too. Oh, whoops. Dr. Scripter. Flurry Heart is a ba la 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 la. Yeah, will be. All right. <laughs> Josh Brony says that Mando Pony is the new Doom Critic. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. Ah, sad but true. Can't everybody just follow this? Drop bass, not bombs. Can't we all just be civil people and not do crappy things? Can we all just not be garbage people? And I'm talking to Toon Critic. I'm talking to Mando Pony. I'm not going to say what happened, but I just want this message to be for them. Can you not do the stupid things that you guys are doing? Like, is it so hard to be a decent human being? Please, you're embarrassing yourself and you're embarrassing the fandom. Just stop. Just stop. That's it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about the matter.
because one, I don't want to contribute more fuel to the drama fires because those are never fun. But I do have to say something about the matter because what they did, not okay. Okay, face my whoop cannon, you whoops, your war starter. <laughs> All right, how would Twilight Sparkle react if Fluttershy joined the dark side? Ooh, that's a good question. She would react with, Fluttershy, no, don't do it. I don't care if they have cookies. They're not meant to be for you, no. And Fluttershy would be like, oh, Twilight, I'm sorry, but you never accounted for what my true potential could be. These people have, so now I'm going to join them. And you will finally see my true potential. <gasps> Fluttershy, no, I'm sorry for not seeing your potential earlier. Can you ever forgive me? I only forgive my friends. <gasps> no! It's over, Fluttershy. I have the high ground. <laughs> what side are you on? Solar Empire or Lunar Republic or the Peace Corps? I'm not on any of those. What part of no drama do you not understand? I despise drama. Drama is my mortal enemy. Drama ruined everything I loved in life. Drama made me... Actually, it didn't make me do anything, but it took everything I loved. Drama ruined this fandom. Drama ruined my parents. Drama ruined my clothing. What is your favorite supercar? The DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> I want a time traveling car. Okay. Uh, do you play fighting games? If so, have you played them's fighting herds? Yes, I have, but I don't own the game. Uh, but I suck at that game. It's so hard. And freaking Brit is like a bam. Totally annihilates anybody who plays with her. And personally, I think it's because she voiced one of the characters in the original fighting his magic. He says he hates drama and acts dramatic. Yes, that's that's the joke. That was the joke. But in, in all seriousness, I do hate drama. I really do. It's pointless. It's stupid. It's just pointless. You know, unless it's like something that actually affects, you know, yourself as a person, yeah, that's where it gets important. But for the most part, drama, if it's not involving you, is not entertaining or at all like something I pay attention to. Rarity won't be happy because she's the one who gave me that diamond. Where did Ice Gaze get mad at me? Where do I deserve this? I agree, it's just ridiculous. I have to go soon. Okay, CCLAR394. You have a good one, and I'll see you later. Hello, Rainbow Dash loves rocks. I didn't know Rainbow Dash loves rocks. Rainbow Dash? Do you love rocks? I'm getting a no from here. Fluttershy, you underestimate my power, Rainbow Dash. Don't do it, Fluttershy. Fluttershy, ah! Gets, um, gets cut in half. Ah! Rainbow Dash. You were meant to make friends, not destroy them. You were like a sister to me. You like my feeble attempt at a Rainbow Dash voice? Maybe. Maybes are for babies. Have you seen Pony Life? Yes, I have. And I freaking love it. Throw away this garbage over here. I think I'm going to get some, uh, I swear, what's going through your heads? <laughs> Does rock candy exist in our world? <laughs> yeah, I question what goes through the chat's head all the time. You are not the only one, my friend. <sighs> Rainbow Dash dramatically walks away while Fluttershy burns. <laughs> burn, Fluttershy, burn. Oof. It is hot today. It is so freaking hot. I think I'm gonna get some ice cream. You think I should get some ice cream, guys? I already love Pony Life even before it aired on Treehouse. Oh, cool. Guys, I told Ice Gaze to never leave YouTube and the internet. 
never leave the YouTube. I'm gonna try and dump these things out so I can get the popping boba. Just cause I really, really want the popping boba. What these freaking ice cubes. You make it difficult. There we go. Now it's nothing but popping boba. Watch, Bunny, I'm turning into a crazy cat woman. What makes you say that? No bunny's doing anything for flutters. It's up to you, Watch, Bunny. Yo saw you in Malo en las Carreras. Um, Rainbow Dash says that she's terrible at racing. <laughs> That's not true. There we go. The heck? The straw doesn't work anymore. Alright, I'm gonna drink it. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Hey, watch funny. What do you think about Fluttercord and Fluttershy and Discord in love with each other? Canonically, yes, they are a couple. But do I agree with that? To be honest, yes. I mean, Fluttershy and Discord do have that age gap thing, like I mentioned before. But Fluttershy and Discord never had that idle relationship of where you know you meet your superheroes, your celebrity crush. They never had that because Discord was never stooped down to a level, you know? And I can't find the trash can. Crap. Discord was never stooped down to, or Fluttershot was never stooped down to that level. Uh, but to be, to be fair, both of them were kind of down in their levels, which made them a lot more relatable, a lot more humble. And let's face it, Fluttershy was really not gonna get uh, really linked with anybody else in terms of like guys, you know. I don't. Um, in terms of stallions, Fluttershy is shipped with Discord the most. Every other ship with Fluttershy is usually with females. So I don't know. I I kind of endorse it. I kind of like it. It seems pretty nice. Josh Brony says what? I saw you in America's Got Talent. Watch Pony came on so close. To winning five million dollars what i wasn't in america's got talent i get your tea um what else do you think about flirt toward uh well the reason starlight gummer is a fan because i fell in love with her yeah starlight's, starlight's a good character i can see why you fell in love with her all right 15 viewers 35 likes i have something to share with you guys times are tough it's gonna get a little sentimental but I will assure you, this is the most important message I'm going to share in this live stream today, okay? Are you ready for this? Because I'm only going to say this once. Actually, I'm going to say this once and again on Twitter afterwards. But are you guys familiar with Peach P Pictures Productions? Or if not that, um, do you remember... Uh, la 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 la... Pony IRL videos, Twilight Sparkle and the Car Decal. Pony Decal, I think is what it's called. Either way, there's this one guy. I believe he goes by the name of... Oh, crap. I, I want to make sure I don't get the, the name wrong. But if you will look in the live stream link, in the description, the, comment, the, the description of the stream, you will find a link to help a brony in need there is a brony right now who has been and is a really good guy i've met him in conventions multiple times i think his name's joey i think it is yes joey and carly joey is the producer of i believe peach Pr pictures he produces my little pony videos and he is hit 
big time with really harsh living expenses and conditions. So much so, he doesn't have a place to live. So I'm doing my part to help out and spread word and sharing his link down below in the description to help Joey find a new place to live. It's not so much he's only asking for $5,000, which to be fair, in a lot of kick uh, GoFundMes, that's a pretty good price, you know? He's not asking for a lot, which is good because that means he's humble. It means that he's, you know, not really taking, taking advantage of a lot of people. But yes, basically, this guy is in need of some help right now. He needs a place to live. And let's face it, in these coronavirus times, it is really tough. I mean, hell, it's tough for me. It, I, I struggle just to make the freaking videos for you guys. So let's all do our part. I'm going to donate as well. And I believe he's almost at his goal. So let's help him out in any way we can by donating or sharing the link as well. And I'm going to be tweeting about that link as well. So Joey, if you're watching this, I wish you the best of luck, man. I've seen you in plenty of conventions, at, at least twice, and you have been nothing but great, you have been nothing but kind, and I really wish that you didn't have to go through all this. So I'm just going to say I wish you the best of luck, and I hope this will help you out tremendously. Because life is tough, but just because life is tough doesn't mean we should give up on life. If we give up on life, we give up on ourselves. And that's something we shouldn't do, ever. Never give up. Unless you're giving up a really terrible addiction. In which case, definitely give that up. Give up everything that doesn't serve you. But if you give up on yourself, then you lost. If you give up on yourself, you lost. But even if you do give up, there's always a chance to get back up. Motivation! Motivation! That's what I'm here for. And happy birthday to Bryce as well. <laughs> I'll definitely try to donate. Shared it on Twitter. Thank you, Josh Brony, and thank you, Beach Boy Fan Forever. And thank you, Mrs. Bankrupt Pony. If ponies don't quit, humans can't quit as well. Yeah, that's true. Twilight Sparkle and all of her friends never in their whole history have ever given up. And that's why they are a success. Failure leads to success. And sometimes when they fail, it fails in a really big, dramatic way. It makes them wish they could never try that ever again. But just because you fail doesn't mean it's over. I like to say I am like a pony in situations. Yeah, I'm like a pony too. We should all be more like ponies in a way of not giving up on our friends and not giving up on each other. We should all be like ponies in a way to... Do you still love Vanamelon? <laughs> nah, I haven't watched Vanamelon in so long. And to be fair, I kind of don't really watch her anymore just because she stopped doing My Little Pony stuff. Imagine there is someone just like you who looks like that. What is this guy doing beside the road? Oh yeah, that's true. Actually, there's nobody around me. Oh wait, one person's walking toward me. I need to walk away, otherwise I'll need to wear a mask. To quote the king in the country, if we fall, we fall together. And if we fall, we all fall together. Nobody's ever do it by myself. And if we go, never to forever. It's just the only one. Bum, 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 bum. I never want to bite it. Uh, and if you wanted to, go inside of me. Bum, and if you wanted to, fight and toss and fight me. Um, but if you made it for society. Don't you want to fight and toss and fight me. Um, but if you made it for society. Don't you want to fight and toss and fight me. Um, but if you made it for society. I've been listening to a lot of punk music. Sorry about that. How's the wind? Is the wind making it hard for you to hear me? Because it's very breezy. It's very breezy. And someone pointed out that there's a that there's a bird's nest on this tree. Let me let me flip the camera and see. Here's the tree, but I don't see a bird's nest. I think those are just the chunks of the tree.
Oh, that's good. It's good that the wind doesn't affect me. There's only five minutes left, so we're gonna leave it to the Q and A. Ask me lightning questions right now while I sing them in song form. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's a Taco Bell right across the street. <laughs> With the real Slim Shady, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. With the real Slim Shady, please stand up. <laughs> We're gonna have a problem here. My opinion about Smile HD before. Well, I tell you that I've never seen anything before that ever made me laugh so scarred and made me laugh and made me really traumatized. It's just horrifying seeing all that blood. It really made me feel like there's no other way I should. But I tell you what it feels because I never knew that it would be this real, but. Okay, never mind that because I just wanted to share the little mind that I always wanted to see that how did I discover MLP? Well, it all started with YouTube videos never want to see videos ever want to get those But I wanted to be YouTube famous and when I saw that ponies were on the rage Well, I decided to get my hat in watch an episode and it happened then all of a sudden I liked the show and then it all just started to grow and grow MLP was real what it is It'd be awesome, would you? Easy life, would you? What do you think, man? Carl the Artie Cat, well, I just have to say that I wouldn't have it any other way. I would love to be in Equestria. I would love to be in the set with ya. I would love to be in this world of propriety and set for me. And I just have to see I'm Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just the mutt teddies. So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. Cause I'm watch pony, yes, I'm the real pony. All you other watch ponies are just the little phony. So won't the real watch pony please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. Watch pony. How do you say Pinkie Pie in Spanish? How do you say how to stop eating candy in Spanish? You say it like this. Oye, no guste que están comiendo tanto dulce. All right, I'm back. This is GW. Dr. Scripter, you made it laugh. What? Starlight glimmer lifts ice glaze. Am I already the cat? MLP life, isn't it easy? If it is, it is. And never wanted to well because it never wanna biz. And if you want Mario Super Mario Logan episodes, that's something I have never seen in the show. I never seen that Super Mario Logan show. Although I think I did once when it was FNAF, you know. It made you laugh. It will. It's a mass. Watch pony. Do you love chocolate rain? Well, I think chocolate rain is just insane. It's just something that Discord made it with his brain. Just uh, Mr. Bankrupt Pony. Thank you for the question. Now I'm moving on. G W. Hello, Gus. I'm holding ice glaze with my magic. He's trying to duck the script his mansion. And I didn't know you could rap so good. Said Power Pony number one. And oh, well then, thank you. Ah, I messed up there. Let's go, GW is a dumb hello. Should I see the crazy doctor today? Well, I say the yes and I say the no, but everybody knows that what they're gonna show. Beach Boat Fan Forever says, WP, guess what? Well, I just wanna say, no, I don't know what. I love the mask you made, Earl of Tersenel's aid. And then GW says, I'm going to a concert next week to the Beach Boys, and I'll be back on the road doing some small shows. I'm going to be the one on August 2nd. So excited. Well, I just can't say, I'm um, shame I'm not invited cuz I'm Slim Shady as I'm the real Shady all you other Slim Shadies are just the mutt teddy so won't the real Slim Shady please stand up please stand up please stand up cuz I'm Slim Shady as yes, I'm the real Shady all you other Slim Shadies are just the mutt teddy so won't the real Slim Shady please stand up please stand up please stand up ha have you ever played Can Your Pet? Yes, I have, and I'll let you know the bet. It's all very controversy, but it's all never because on the ball in the mercy. Well, there are st uh, still tickets available for the gig. Can you fly it to Lincoln, Nebraska? <laughs> As a kid, well, never know. I never thought I could, but it's just something I never really thought I could. <sighs> I think that's good. Thank you, everybody, for my last minute improv of trying to answer your questions all in rap. What's your favorite My Little Pony activity? Watching videos. <laughs> That's what it is. But it is sadly 1.29, so we are sadly, time is up. So it's time for us all to say goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Bankrupt Pony, says bye, Watch Pony. Josh Brony says, time's up. Goodbye, Josh Brony. Goodbye, Carl the Artie Cat. 
I can see you, uh, you need feed the breads that has the creed. <laughs> I can see you need to feed the breath of fats a creed. Thanks for the black heart. <laughs> see you, Watch Bunny. See you, Josh Brunny. Bye bye, Beach Boy fam forever. Bye, Power Pony Tone One. Oh, I'm too late. Oh, I'm so sorry, bro. Anyways, catch you next time. Sunday, 12 p.m. Always on YouTube. Watch him right here. Holla at your boy. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not my thing. The stream never bothered me anyways. Bye.